Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> so cute. Oh, wow. It's a special. It's a special visitor. Hi hello. there. Oh my gosh. Take him up a little. Hi. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, handsome. Hi. Uh, he's like, hello and goodbye. He's like, I'm done. Hi, Jean. Yeah. Get me out of here. Well, I'm um, eight. <laughs> Amy, we mentioned your new docu-series, Expecting Amy, and it takes us through um, your work putting together a comedy special, all the while being pregnant and, and quite sick with, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, hyperemesis, um, yeah. which landed you in, in the hospital a number of times. And you say having gone through this experience really highlighted for you the imbalance that women of color, especially, um, face giving uh, birth. Uh, and the need for really high quality um, maternity care. What did you learn yeah. from your experience? I'm really glad you asked that. Um, Every Mother Counts is a great organization that helps uh, underprivi underprivileged women and women of all backgrounds have an advocate for them, um, a midwife or a doula. Uh, I learned that um, women of color are four times more likely to die giving birth unnecessarily and 12 times more likely to die in New York city than a white woman mm -hmm. giving birth unnecessarily. And once I learned that I like, yeah, I just, that, that kind of changed my whole world. I didn't know, I didn't know that I, I was ignorant to that fact. Um, and a woman two weeks yeah. ago in Brooklyn just died. She Asia, a uh, routine C-section mm -hmm. died. We'll never meet her baby. So, um, yeah. And, you know, also it's like, I, I feel lucky that just that, you know, that I ever got to even meet my son, um, and the violence going on right now. Um, my friend, Angela Henry, her son 10 years ago was shot. Uh, his name's DJ Henry and the hashtags DJ Henry or justice for DJ Henry. They're mm -hmm. right now trying to open the case back up, um, because there's new evidence. Mm -hmm. The other officer, um, an officer shot, he was a, he was a college football player just leaving a party yeah. over and was shot. And so um, I'm really hoping that, that New York decides to reopen his case and hold the officer accountable who shot him for no reason. Yeah, I remember that case, Funny. actually. We, we, we should talk about it uh, another time on The View. But um, you've recently partnered with our sponsor, um, Tampax. And tell everyone what you're doing together. Um, well, I thought... I get my period, so I feel as though I am an expert, but actually they've educated me. <laughs> they've educated me a lot. Uh, I didn't know that, you know, in schools, only like 29 schools even require sex ed and 22 require any sort of scientific, you know, facts to teach. So, I mean, the, Tampax really wants to inform women and take the shame out of their periods. And that's what I, I've been trying to do for a long time myself. So... Um, yeah. And yeah, I'm really proud so, of that. It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that it's, there's this shame around something that happens to half the population like every month. But you went, you went to the mall to chat with some people about period facts. And I was actually surprised when my producer told me this, that many people don't even know how long an average uh, period lasts. Is right. that true? Is that no. what you found out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like some people have no idea. Like, you know. I think my husband thought it was like 10 days or something. Um, I mean, that's probably what I told him, <laughs> but um, no, there's just, there's really not much education and women don't even know how to put a tampon in, like not confidently. I, I made a demonstration oh where God. I just, I showed it with my mouth because you just have to push it in a little further if you can feel it. And so many people don't know that there's misconceptions, yeah. Yeah. there's it cultural is. differences. I, I mean, yeah, yeah different it's cultures. Crazy. Different, yeah. So listen, I want to recommend some to you before we go, Amy. Do you know a, a movie called Babies? It's a it was a documentary on, on uh, Netflix about ten years ago. Uh, it might oh. be on Netflix. You can probably Google it. I think this will you will have a great time watching this. In specific, with everything we've talked about, you might really dig this. Call Babies. Oh, cool. In any case, oh. you know you, you're always welcome to come to our show, whether, whether we're remote or we're sitting uh, across from each other. We're thrilled to have you. And our thanks to Amy Schumer and our sponsor Tampax. <laughs> it's been so long since I've said that. <laughs> Expecting Amy is available on HBO. <laughs> 
HBO Max now. Yo, because I'm old. But I still remember what they do and how good they are. 